Hello, hello, everybody. Tonight, we are going to be continuing our ba 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 Persona 3 Portable Adventures. Last time was on Monday, and uh, because Wednesday I was not feeling good again. Just feeling bleh. But I was determined not to let it be like two streams in a row that got cancelled. So we're gonna go and do things, actually. I forget what the plan was. Because, well, we're tired, so we're obviously not gonna want to risk going to Tartarus. Luckily, everybody else is tired, too. Everybody's tired. Maybe it's because after the midterms, because I think the midterms happened. Well, let's talk. Ah, oh, yeah. So your test results. You were up there on the list. I'm sure Senpai will be proud of you. So we're probably going to be heading back. Forget what... Because I think we saved here because it was at after a stretch of things happening. Also need to decide who we're going to hang out with for social links and stuff. Just like I thought, my score wasn't too bad. Because we can hang out with Rio. Let me see. Because Junpei is just around. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Since it should be Monday, I think. They're closed. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Tuesday and Thursday. Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. Yeah, night, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. And it's at night, so it opens up things a bit for him. So, really, it's mostly... Like... Blah, 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 the student council or Rio. Because, let's see. We should have personas for both of them. Because we have Hermit, which I know because ah, my brain, my brain's bad. Because I think it's Emperor and then Chariot. So obviously, my boy Chimera fills the Chariot slot. Heck, could have sworn that we had Ferris. So we might want to go do some fusing. We'll probably hang out with Rio, but there are things that I want to do before hanging out with Rio. Yeah, just Yon be gone and the book. Oh, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> For mom, just like, wait a minute. Where'd it go? As long as you pass your exams, you'll be fine. I never study for my exams because I'm so lazy. And yet you're lecturing people on passing their exams. Midterm exults. I'm in the top 10. Look at the junior results in detail. Let's see, Junpei, quite low. <laughs> Yukari is about average. Interesting. We can snoop on people. Mitsuru, <laughs> the highest. Really? Yep, scored the highest. Akihiko did well. <laughs> That's amusing. Yeah, it's just this guy again saying, he just gives you a weird concoction. Probably to let you know that if you don't feel well, you can go there and the guy will give you a concoction as well. Drunk it. Ah, my courage went up. Nice. 
da, da. We'll just wander around a bit, see if there's anything. Like, no, maybe look here. Interesting. We'll just look around, see if anything sticks out. Because there is this, too. The home economics room, which I think meet up. But I don't know. Ah, uh, hey, Akihiko. Oh, it's you. You're going home? Yeah, because I think he said certain days they don't. But that's just so forward. Or, like, not forward, but, like, ah, goodbye. <laughs> like, rude. Hmm. Goodbye. <laughs> it just feels rude to just say goodbye. Nothing else. Nothing here. We'll check out the rest of the... Well, I was going to say town, but it's not really town. Just like the rest of the map areas that we can look around. Let's see, just see. Yeah, I did. You told me about it. At least I'm fairly certain that you did. Anything new? But my lousy husband didn't give me anything. He didn't remember it was our anniversary. Seriously, Japanese men are so clueless when it comes to those things. Even a single flower from Raphalesia would have made us happy. Uh, just the same conversation. I heard escape pad means mischief. Yeah, same thing. Oh, yeah. Forgot about that almost. I'll definitely need to look and see, like, what personas I need to worry about. Also, let me check my requests. I might have missed a thing. Well, okay, I need to be on the lookout on the 26th. I might as well probably... I'll probably just let that one cancel itself. Actually, let me look at my compendium. And I only have a 6% registered ratio. Probably because I haven't played around with the... Triangle Fusion. Hmm. Maybe at some point I might want to play with that, but I feel like I need, like, a lot of money to do that. Hmm. I wonder. I just want to check something. Is it possible to be, like, you... You... Ah, oh, we can. It does tell you, kind of, who you get. And Jesus Christ, level 21?! Like, it probably doesn't actually do that, but still. Let's see, Tamlin. Interesting. <laughs> From the kind of shadowy, like, look of the art there, it almost looks like a Lady Liberty with a sword. From YouTube chat, midterms are over. How do we do? And what's coming up next? <laughs> More answers coming up on today's live stream. Exactly. Interesting. I'm just taking a look at, like, the various... Oh, we can get a Chimera from here. Pyrojack. Neat. Grr. Not very grr. It looks like a skeleton man... Just slime. Just slime. I might have to play around with this. Hmm. 
Mokoi. <laughs> A level 30 Yada? Yata Garas. We can Yata lock our enemies. So yeah, this definitely seems to be where you get like... That is one part adorable, one part terrifying. I'm just looking around, seeing, like, what we can actually get out of any of these. I find it funny that some of them are, like, just normal people. A guy on a horse. Then other th ones are just kind of, like, horrifying. In Fez, if you had Pyro Jack and Jack Frost, you would have a team attack called Jack Brothers. I think I... somebody in chat came in once and said that team attacks can, like, be bought from a certain like, person or something. Oh, I already looked at you. Oberon. Fairy person in a big hat. I forget. I think we looked at you. Yeah, it's the long dog. So yeah, maybe I'll have to play around with that. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna make a save state just to see something. Because the game says that, oh, you reach this level, you can make this level of persona now. So I'm curious. What would happen if I tried to make a persona that was, like, beyond my capabilities? Like, this level 30 Yatagurasu. Obviously, I assume that I'll be like, ooh, that one's too powerful. It'll only be this. But I want to see. I made the save state. I'm going to double make that save state. But I'm curious what happens if I try. Ah, not at a high enough level to create this persona. It just tells you you can't. But interesting. So if you had like a bunch of low level ones and you wanted to try and make a big guy, you need to be the same one. YouTube chat. Hello, Neon, and hey, what month is it? Have you reached... It? How, what month have I reached in the game? Uh, I think it was just after midterm, so I think we're still in... I think we're still in... I'm terrible with months, by the way. It's just the fifth month. We're at, the, like, the 25th. We're almost to the sixth month. I'm very slow. I was just playing around with the triangle spread to see amusing things that we could do. I don't want to get rid of well, I guess we could get rid of you. We already have Chariot Chimera. And I don't really care about Alp or Aramitama. So getting Fornius back wouldn't be terrible. The music in this section is just so good. So, yeah, you know what? Let's get Fornius back. Explosion. Give me my crowned, normal-headed shark man. I guess. They gave me a Tarukaja card. The design is still so weird because it's just the top half of a human head. In a shark. Interesting how fusing Omoikane with Chimera gives me Archangel, and sh sh fusing Omoikane with Archangel gives me Chimera. I don't know why. I guess, like, yeah, it makes sense, but it amuses me. Yeah, we already have you. 
Meanwhile, if I do it with Yomotsu Shikome, I get just Chimera again. But I think that's all I'll do, I think. I should probably... We'll do more, like, fusions, perhaps, before going into Tartarus next time. But we aren't going there, because everybody's tired because of the midterms. Would Jack Frost count as a mascot for SMT and Persona series? Probably. Because I think that's basically what, like, most people think of, I think. If you showed somebody Jack Frost, they would probably know Jack Frost out of any other Persona or Shin Megami Tensei Demon. Just, like, more than likely. Because I can't think of any other... Like, one that makes sense as a recognizable figure. Jack Frost just really stands out. But, after looking around, I do believe that what we will do is we will hang out with Rio. Because I think Rio is neat. And I want to hang out with her. From looking at things, the only other... Like, we have a lot of technically available ones. It's like Rio, the student council. Then we also have, like, the girl at the shrine right now. We just have a lot of, like, options. And I think that's part of why I heard that, like, if you want to fully max out all of the social links in this game, you need a super guide that tells you exactly how to spend your time. You need to activate them on this day and then follow up on these days. But let's go hang out for Rio. Hey, have you heard the story about some sort of school club going on at Polonia Mall? Yuko was just talking about it. A Buddhist monk gets hammered on sake and starts blubbering to you. What kind of club is that? You obtain info about a monk who appears at a club. Which should be at night if it's the club that I'm thinking of. Because maybe somebody will finally show up at the top place. Like, uh, above the bar at the club. But hey, Rio. Let's go hang out. Especially because things are not going well for you. The volleyball club is dying. Reply balls if you're a real volleyballer. Hey, you look psyched. She seems happy. Considering that so many other people don't want to hang out at the volleyball club, kind of makes sense that she's like, Aw, you do want to hang out at the volleyball club. You do want to try hard. You and Rio practice playing volleyball in the empty gym. Harsh. Painful. Painful and harsh. That's it. Always keep your knees in mind. All right, I'll serve next, so... Oh. Hey, Rio! Your classmate Kinji came by. Don't become Chainsaw Man. Or is that Denji? Whatever. Kenji, what do you want? I got some homework that I just don't understand at all. Can you do it for me instead? Or tell me how to do it? Like, maybe tell him how to do, like, the process, maybe. Or, like, you need to research this book. Go look at it. Homework? I bet you just slept through class again. <laughs> uh, what do I what do I get in return? Oh, you're so up for it. Lucky me. I'll give you my love in return. Love, baby! Nobody needs that. How about you buy me a special at Hagakure? Yikes, that's steep. Okay. I'll be waiting around until you're done. Yeah, yeah. Huh. Kinji leaves. Well, he doesn't seem to be a bad guy, maybe. Then again, this is just like the midpoint of her social link. Maybe he'll turn out to be a bastard. Oh, sorry. I ended up loafing around. Let's see. How should we respond? 
Because they seem to get along with him. Aren't you being too nice to him? Hmm. I think you seem to get along with him would be the nicer one to be like, hey, kind of encourage her to be sociable with somebody. Also, hey, Neon, do you know about Jack Frost's myth and folk tales? I think I've heard of Jack Frost, like, vaguely. There's a lot of folk tales out there. Also, Kenji, uh, from somebody else, Kenji is the magician link in the male main character route. The whole thing with him is he likes older women. Been kind of weird that he's offering his love over homework, unless Ryo is just old lady or like older woman appearingly. <laughs> That's kind of funny in a way. Well, you seem to get along with him. I guess. We're childhood friends. I've known him since preschool. He's like a younger brother to me. Then extra weird that he wants to give her his love. Maybe it's just an in-joke between them. That's all. Ryo laughs. He's been coming here a lot lately, and he's starting to be a pest. Hmm. What's the matter? Or let's practice. Hmm. I'm trying to think. Well, I'd say, what's the matter? Dig into it. Sorry, it isn't much of a practice with just two people. Rio mumbles. Hmm. Also, because I don't want to say, why don't you try apologizing? Because the other people are in the wrong. Because they're the ones that, like, I wanted to come to the sports club to be lazy. Which is just weird. So, I'll say they'll eventually come back. Yeah. Rio bites her lip. It's like, I don't want to pretend nothing happened and I'm not going to say this is my fault. I know that I need to be more mature about this, but... All that stuff about having never been in a relationship and stuff... It's none of their business. It is kind of a low blow for them. Hmm, are they right or don't... Like, why would it even matter? She just said it. It's none of their business. So, are they right seems like to be taking their side. Don't let it get to you. Yeah. Ryo still seems vexed. Neon-san, do you have someone you like? I don't know. Like... I don't know who's a romanceable, probably all the dudes, which... Tanaka? No. But yeah, like... Pretty much every... Like, male one is probably one that can be done. Probably, maybe some exceptions. K kind of like how basically all the female social links in the male one... We're obligated, like, romanceable, but at least in the this one, Persona 3 Portable, in the female route, you can friend zone people, which is good. <laughs> but do I have someone I like? At this point, no. There's no, like, Junpei doesn't seem like... Like, it's, Junpei is weird because... He acts a little perverted in regards to other female characters, but not me, which is funny. And could very well be the fact that they're using, like, original, like, mail route writing to save space in some locations, where they don't think that the gender of the main character matters too much. Maybe. It's just funny because, in so far... In all of the Junpei social links, he has been completely normal and even went, <laughs> I'll be your wingman to bag you at Kahiko. Just look at all the weary faces of those fangirls as you get the most eligible bachelor of Gekuken High. And it's just like he seems normal and friendly on all of the social links so far. And like nobody else is really gathered my attention from a romance perspective. But then again, like, I don't know. I don't know. It also doesn't help that, like, all of these characters are like... I don't know. There's just something that doesn't make any of them make, like, ah, I want to romance you. 
which is also partly why I chose portable, so I could turn down everybody if I don't want to romance them. So I'm going to say no, because it's also telling the truth. We don't have anybody available right now. Is that so? <laughs> she seems relieved. That's funny, in a way. I don't get romance. It seems like so much trouble, and there's no big reward for doing it. As somebody who also doesn't get romance, I would assume that that super connection with another person is kind of the reward in and of itself. Rio opened up to you a little. You feel like you understand Rio a little more now. Volleyball! Rank four volleyball. Now the power has increased and crossed. Let's get back to practice. I'll serve Neon Sen, so you, uh, it's okay if I just call you Neon. I feel like it fits you better. <laughs> we have become super friends. You and Rio finished your practice, then you went back to the dorm. Where have you been? Volleyball. Volleyball. Always save in the top spot. And make emergency save state in case things cataclysmically go dead. My grades are pretty good. I'm glad the exams were easy. Going to Tartarus really tires me out so I can't focus on my studies like I used to. Which is partly why <laughs> Mitsuru said, hey, don't go to Tartarus the two nights before <laughs> the midterms. Uh, looks like my grades went up. Well, I guess that makes sense, since I've been spending all my time studying. Oh, by the way, Mitsuru won't be back until later. So we won't be going to Tartarus today. Fits because everybody is tired anyway. Again, why do we have what looks like a bar? Yeah, my grades were... Well, you know... Uh, just leave me alone, man. Man, especially because he actually was training or like studying there at the end. A 92 year old woman with a surprising hobby, playing online games. When we spoke to her, she said her favorite thing about the game was being able to talk to the kids. That makes me, that reminds me of like the old grandma lady that uh, really liked streaming Skyrim. I wonder what ever happened to her. That was years ago. But remember, everybody, as you go to stock them all, remember to stay hydrated. Good. Tanaka's not here. But we shall check the club because we were told, well, other people are here. Same thing, but new, like, position. Hey, how's it going? Rackin! I see. I envy you. Well, let's see. Not that great? To be honest, me too. I can't seem to get into a groove. I thought if it could if I came here, but I guess not. You know that fortune teller? She's a weird presence like she's in another world. Hmm. I think that's the same thing. Child or life. Fortune teller do scary. She's got a weird aura. Don't just stand there. Everyone must be dancing to stay inside. Dancing is great stress reliever. Everything bad just melts away. Yeah, it doesn't seem like there's anybody in this club. Because uh, there was a hint of, like, an old monk that would ramble to you. Sure, tell me my fortune. Yeah, same one that was before. She probably only tells me, like, fortune each day. Get da da My pharmacy's best business comes from my neighbors, so I have to be ready to help them any time. If you have a horrible pain in the night, don't hesitate. Come to my store at once. But I don't think I need to buy anything from him. Doesn't seem to be much here. Oh, you came. Well, I'm in a good mood today, so I'll give you a discount. 
Too bad I don't think you have anything really worth buying from you right now. Because we already have Siren Song. Already have... Um, he already has the <laughs> brass knuckles. Da, da, da. Da, da, da. Still just baffling that there's a 100 yen tuxedo. Well, I guess if he's in a good mood, it goes down to 75 per, and it's only a bragging rights reward. Oh, wait, Junpei tuxedo and Aki. Why did I not see that there was a Junpei tuxedo? And a tuxedo for Akihiko. I only noticed the tuxedo for Akihiko for some reason. Weird. But yeah, it doesn't seem like there's really anything I want to buy from you. But thank you for the discount anyway, sir. If only he could. <laughs> the, now I want to. Now I want to read a fanfic that's an alternate universe where the policeman can summon Persona, and he starts kicking ass. Da, 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 da. Well, now I'm courageous a little bit. Da, 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 da. Let's see, what's available in here? Crank club or punching bag. I might just because I don't. Yeah, I think they're closed. So we'll probably just. Oh, we can. Well, let's work part time. We get stat boosts, I think, and money. Let's do it. Whether you work here or you eat here. You do it. You can, either you pay to get charm increase, or you work to get charm increase. Sup, dude? Hey, how'd you do on the exams? <laughs> Competitive than I thought. Seriously? Man, I'm a laughing stock. After the results were posted, I heard these two cute girls talking. They were saying I have a one-track mind. Well, I won't let it get to me. We might be getting another girl on our team anyways. Points to Naoto from Persona 4. Yeah, the police can use Persona. Huh. That's cool. And then the OG P3 and Fez for the male character when doing female social links. Yep, they always become romances. Another reason why I chose Portable and chose to play as the female character. It just... It, it's, if I remember correctly, like, they didn't take that out of Persona 3 Portable if you play the male main character. It's just that they, all, they did remove the jealousy mechanic. And it's just like, I didn't want to deal with, like, that shenanigans that I... Because uh, I learned about it while doing, like, hey, researching what's the differences between the various versions of Persona 3 because they never made a definitive version. It's finally time for lunch. Oh, what a coincidence. Oh, yeah, today's a committee day. Come if you have the time, okay? Tuesday. I don't think I have anything on a Tuesday. So, yep, definitely. <laughs> That's promised. We'll see you later then. Good, I didn't get approached by somebody else. Ah, uh, this could have been a June pay day. Hm. Yep, see ya. Because I have obligations. I'll definitely just walk around. Like, talking to people. It must be so hard being so popular. I have too many people to spend time with! I'm 
tired, so we definitely want to go talk to the nurse. The crazy lady that wants to be run over by Mitsuru. And the, uh, like, a uh, lady that got... Oh, I forgot, because, like, one was talking about kidnapping. Yep. And the, <laughs> apparently it was a drive-by. I might as well talk to him. Don't think there's anything else here. I doubt you have any. Do you have any more Yambigan? Knew it. It's basically like they only buy them or like sell them on Sunday, Saturdays. Hey, Mitsuru. No, bother, no point in talking to you because I need to be a genius to even like begin talking to you in some places. At least it'll increase your courage visiting the nurse. Yep. Maybe that's why, like, I got to level 3 courage already compared to everything else. My charm, my intelligence, still level 2. Courage, level 3 already. All because I'm always tired all the time. I'm sick and lethargic. And somehow that makes me very brave. Yep, guy's still getting stalked all over the college. We'll wander around elsewhere, see if there's anything to sock. And then we'll probably come back and hang out with Sayori. Let's see. Uh, just the same ones. Is the club closed? Merger God. Yeah, nothing ever happens at the strip mall. Nobody ever goes to the strip mall except that kid that wants a cat. And we should have, like, yeah, Hermit. I do believe we have a persona that is Hermit, which I think is you. Yep. Now we can staff the library. For the power of the library, I summon you. I still have no idea what Sayori's deal is. Entirely possible that she is just normal, like, older high schooler that just happens to be a lower grade because she, like, moved here and just got placed in a lower grade, but... And everybody's like, oh, she's a senior, like, age-wise, have to be respectful. Or maybe she's creepy to people. She's a really depressing social link. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh no. Ah, apparently in Persona 3 Reload, they finally changed the male social links so that you don't have to romance all of the girls. <laughs> so that you can finally have just normal platonic social links with all the female characters. That's just still funny to me. That they never even bothered to fix this one. I assume they were referring to Sayori. Because I think I was talking about Sayori when she's a really depressing social link popped up. Hey, Neon Chan. There's a committee meeting today. Can you come? If you're busy, I can go alone. Let's go! Let's -a go and attend the meeting. I'm glad. You seem to be having fun today. Gekko Khan High Library. Not many students came by today, so you spend a lot of time chatting with Sayori. Well, is that how that teacher is? <laughs> I didn't know it at all. 
I learned so much when I talked to you, Neon Chan. I never get to hear all these rumors that go around the school. Sayori seems to be having fun. The fun police are here. Uh, hey, Sayori san. A boy comes in and stands in front of Sayori. He seems to be smirking for some reason. Kill him! Oh, um. Uh, Taka. How do you say this name? Takawa kun. Takaoka. Takaoka kun. How can I help you? Uh, would you be interested in going out for karaoke? Oh, I'm sorry. Or as this game likes to say it, karaoke! Okay. Seriously? Then how about today? I still have some things to do here today, so I'll wait around. Let's go once you're free. I fear this. I fear that things are gonna go bad. Social awkwardness is gonna murder me. Oh, okay then. Well, I'll be waiting in the classroom. She's not gonna go to the classroom. The boy leaves. That was sudden. It surprised me. Yeah, just like... What the hell is odd? Well, like, it just seemed to come out of nowhere. It's nowhere at all. I would say, do you get along with him? I don't really know him. But if he really wants to go out with me, then... Hmm. Uh, both of these are kind of confrontational. But it is kind of odd. <laughs> like, both of these are kind of pushing her to be like, hey, don't hang out with this guy. Granted, it came out of nowhere. Apparently, they haven't really hung out before. Double granted, he's just asking her out to Kara, okay? I think this one... I, I don't know. I feel like this one is a bit better. Aren't you being a doormat compared to stand up for yourself? Like, this one is more like passive, putting it in her court while, without telling her what to do. <laughs> Maybe I am. Sayori laughs as if she just heard a funny joke. I don't really have any opinions of my own. Harsh. If there's someone willing to take the lead, I'll gladly follow. Harsh. I don't need someone. I just want to be needed by someone else. Oh, that's very bad. <laughs> oh, oh, no. That is a very bad stance to have in life. It is very bad. Very bad. Oh, no. Huh. If I can find someone who needs me, I'd love that person with every fiber of my being. Do you think it's the wrong way to think? Uh, mm. Okay, let's look at these responses. Because I would say, like, if it were me, I'd be like, yeah, that's probably not the most healthy way of looking at things. It takes all types. How is that fun, though? I can understand that. All of these don't feel like good responses. It takes all types. That's definitely out. I don't even know what that means. How is that fun, though? Seems like a weird response. Like, what do you mean, me? How is that fun, though? It's not that it's an unfun thought process. It's that it's unhealthy. I'm... I guess we'll be passive and say I can understand that. I guess. Because the other two just seem like bad responses. So just like uh, order of operate, like oper order of operations, order of like removal. I had a saying in my head, but it's just gone now. Really, I'm happy to hear that. She is happy that I agreed with the self-destructive thought processes. You feel like you understand, Sayori, a little bit now, a little bit better. Yep, she has an unhealthy thought process. I think things are going to go bad for her. Oh boy. It's almost time. I should get going. I did promise after all. Oh boy. Where have you been? 
experiencing something not all that great. Hey, let's go to Tartarus later. I need to get back into the swing of things. I can't leave all the fun to you guys. So I think that's him saying that he's great and good to go. But I think I'm still tired. Um, yeah, because I'm tired. She's tired. He's tired. You're the only one who's great. We're not going. We're going to get our asses kicked. We already miss a lot at random when we're feeling normal. I'm not going to risk it. Mm, you're looking for a triangular sword. What are you talking about? Is this some sort of riddle? Triangular sword. A triangle. I forgot about this. Request. Yeah. Oh, do you mean a fencing EP? It's not exactly a triangular sword, but the blade's cross section does resemble a triangle. I have a few in my room. I'll fetch one for you. Why do you have a few fencing swords? Here you are. Do you plan on taking up fencing? If so, I can give you lessons once I have some spare time. When I look up at Tartarus, I'm always amazed at how many floors are in it. The tower reaches to the skies. <sighs> it's going to be a long and arduous journey. We definitely need to do more exploring. Eventually. The economic results for April. The economy seems to be on the rise again. Though a touch of inflation has led to some consumers to complain. That is indeed what inflation does. YouTube chat? Yeah, Neon, that's a good point you got about social links in the Persona series, especially the female characters they'll bond with because of how anime in Japan media reflects Japan's social culture. I wonder how many of them are kind of like, gonna be like subversive, like, take that's at the Japanese culture, and how many of them are gonna be like, leaning into it. <laughs> Because she practices at the fencing club, Neon. This is the first time I've heard of a fencing club. How many clubs did this school has? <laughs> Aki feels fine. Everyone else tired. Exactly. My weapon? <laughs> I've got two. My left and my right fists. I'm getting close to attack, so I hardly ever miss. But my attack power isn't that high. I mean, I'm strong. There's no way I can do more damage than a sword. Be hilarious if you like under, like leveled Junpei, so that he did more dam, like Akihiko did more damage. That's too bad. Her name is Fuka Yamagishi, right? I think it's just easier to be around other girls when they're in the same grade as me, like you. Hmm. <coughs> hey Junpei, where'd you go? Guess he's in his room sulking that he did bad that he sucked that he tried his best but he can't succeed what am I doing I can just do this I can fast travel boy I forgot I need to save I think I already saved but I think I might have got distracted always remember to do safe states for emergencies Let's see, what's going on in Polonia Mall? The devil is here. We'll check out the club, and then we'll probably hang out with the bastard. And nothing else in the club. I heard that there was a monk man who was gonna ramble at me. But now instead I just have Tanaka, who sells shit on TV. And rips people off. For 40,000 yen. Like, how much is that? $4,000? Or 400, something like that. I think this is gonna be our first real, like, conversation. Always remember to stay hydrated. Oh, it's you, Neon. Are you free at the moment? If so, I can teach you a valuable life lesson. Free of charge, of course. He has to add that because now we wouldn't trust him. Well, President Tanaka, I'll wait. I don't have the devil with me. One second. 
Don't worry. I, I'm going to see if I can synthesize a devil. 40,000 Japanese yen equals $248.84, so closer to $400 than $4,000. Oh yeah, I forgot also. Uh, request. You seem to have completed a request. Just a moment while I check. This must be a fencing IP, a triangular sword. Yes, this meets the requirements for my request. This IP was once used for the final rounds in fencing matches. Fencers wore white uniforms that blood from struck blows would be more visible. Along similar lines, do you know why my clothes are blue? I'll give you four choices. One, I look attractive in blue. Two, I look presentable in blue. Three, why not? Four, other. I will ask my master for the true answer. She doesn't even know. And I got a bulletproof vest. You have to give that to somebody. Never did get that handheld game system. Oh yeah, I forgot I was going to look for the devil. Just to clarify, you can't fall in love with Tanaka. To, I, I don't think Tanaka would fall in love with anybody except himself. Let's see. I can make... Oh no, actually we can't make you because you're too strong. Damn you, McCoy! It's the real McCoy and that's why he's a bastard. The only devil we can make is that goddamn McCoy. Oh. Guess we're gonna have to drag a devil out of the compendium if we have one. Because I could have sworn that we got one. Let's see. I could have sworn that we found one devil. Huh. Or maybe we just looked at one. And we never got it. Oh, well. It's going to be like the first social link with him, so it's not going to be, like, that big of a blow. It's the later ones that really require personas to progress, from what I recall. My, you're enthusiastic. He seems pleased. He's a narcissist. Well, let's see, Tanaka. What weird things do you have to say today? My schedule is so packed, I don't even have time to breathe. I don't usually deal with your average Joe, you know. If your dormant potential turns out to be a mistake in my judgment, and it's, it's an instant goodbye to you. Register your personas? I thought they always, like, instantly got registered. Like, you find them and then you can update them, but maybe not. Uh, they did because I for either my memory is bad or they didn't really explain. They're like, you can get old personas back. Maybe there's hidden things about it that I don't know. All right, let's add a new word to our vocabulary today. Repeat after me: placebo. The stress is on the middle syllable. Placebo. I guess we just follow his action because I don't see much reason to like not so placebo splendid it's so charming how you say it he seems pleased which still seems creepy with that weird lip smile he's doing a placebo is a pretend pill basically it's medicine to ease your mind it's a miracle breakthrough that will make you feel fabulous but only if you know, don't know that it's a placebo. Because you have to trick your brain, like, this will heal you. And then your brain goes, ah, this is going to heal me. And then, like, the power of positive thinking basically makes it happen. Enjoy a relaxing drive while taking in the beautiful scenery. Our incredible supplements will help you get the most out of life. These are part of our unique line of products. That seems a bit odd. Uh, no, they don't get automatically added. You have to go to Elizabeth. Even if you do get the same persona again, you'll get it at its lowest level. That's what I thought that, like, oh, like, uh, I automatically, like, if you run into a persona for the first time, I thought it got added to the persona compendium at that point. So, and that's why if you want to, like, update the 
compendium so that it has your up-to-date personas. Like, higher level ones or ones with specific moves. That's when you update it. Otherwise, I thought it was, like, automatically put them. But good to know for the future. Hmm. But, yeah, like, I know placebo is a thing. But I, is it legal to be, like, sell a thing that's like, this will make you feel wonderful? So, is that legal? Oh, yes, of course. I'm free to sell them as I please. Seems impressed with himself. We may not be providing tangible benefits, but we do provide peace of mind. People will pay handsomely for that, you know. Take emergency supplies, for example. People will feel safe just because they have them. But it's merely a false sense of security. That's it for today's lesson. You can pay me back when you make your first million. You received somewhat questionable advice from President Tanaka. You feel like you understand him a little better now. I don't feel like I know him better. The businessman has leveled up. Tanaka's a weird little guy. Have you been keeping your promise? You didn't tell anyone, did you? If you go back on your word, I'll upload your picture to the internet, dating site for former prison inmates. I don't even think that's a thing now, let alone in 2009. <laughs> Tanaka, you weird, weird little man. Hey there, Neon. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. Did have to cancel last stream just because wasn't feeling well again. But even though I felt a little wonky today, I figured, nah, I can't really justify canceling two streams in a row. And so far, feeling good. Also in chat, over in Japan, what I've seen and heard about online, most native Japanese people who are citizens in this society do struggle to conform the unhealthy standards of the country's social culture. Well, that is partially why there's the phenomena of, like, the... I think it's called hikikimori, where people just live entirely within their apartments and rooms and never leave. And the people that, like, are basically killing themselves through overwork. As well as just, like, just look at, like, the anime industry. Where you have these people putting in ridiculous effort for, like, bare-bones pay. It's just ridiculous culture, but at the same time, similar cultures kind of exist in any society. It's just that Japan's conformist conformist like philosophy uh you have to fit in you have to like bow down to your seniors and your elders and those above you kind of hurts it does get added but if you've been working on your persona and then fuse them for stronger then unless you register them in the compendium then you won't get the same persona oh that's what i thought that like the first instance of f meeting a persona gets registered and then other like yeah if you like level them up or f like like refuse them and get them later like basically my thought process was the very 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 first time that you meet a persona that is the version that is put in the compendium like automatically and then if you level it up or get that same persona through fusion, that new version won't be added to the compendium. You have to pay to update it, is what I understand. <laughs> I reached the character limit. No problem. It's finally time for lunch. Today is volleyball and... Like, student council day, I think. I think I might hang out with Rio. Because I like Rio, and I want to get deeper into her socially. Meanwhile, the first real, like, interaction with the student council guy kind of left me going, eh, I don't really care for you. Because he was just kind of... He was just about the people complaining about the uniform. He's like, they should wear the uniform. Meanwhile, Rio seems more natural. 
There'll probably just be the two of us there, though. I plan on going. Really? I'll see you there, then. Lunch break is over. I wonder what determines which classmates come up to you. I guess just to be safe, I'll make an emergency safe state. So all this time there was a Persona user in the class next door, huh? Dude, we've been missing out. What if she's cute? Seems like you're pretty close to Akihiko-senpai. You're not going after him, are you? Not really. No, you don't pay to update it? Oh, I thought you did. I'll have to look at that. Registering is free, but the higher Persona's level is, yet the more expensive it is to pull it out of the compendium. I knew it. Akihiko suffice everyone's property after all. <laughs> Akihiko. Communist property, I guess. Thing again. Exams suck, don't they? You have to study so much and your score gets posted. And if you do bad, everyone will laugh at you. That is kind of... Kind of a rude system, actually, yeah. Huh. Like, you'd think that would be a good idea to... Not publicly shame people, but that's just me, a sane people. <laughs> now I'm imagining there has to be a playthrough of this game where a player didn't hang out with anybody. They just went and worked at any of the jobs or sang at karaoke and just ignored everybody the entire way through. But yeah, I'm I want to make sure because I could have sworn that the game asked me to pay to update the compendium. Because, like, first of all, well, it does say I have a register all button. So, let's see. Register all. Yes. Huh. I guess I was just dumb. I was just a very stupid person. Yep. From YouTube chat, I see that. Jap Japan is kind of in a social bind, culturally. But I also feel kind of bad for them because now with the internet age, there's, like, a bunch of internet douches just going there to be like, we're going to make trouble for these people for no reason. That basically was started or, like, popularized by Logan or Jake Paul, one of the Paul brothers. Probably both of them, if we're going to be honest. I was skipping work the other day, and I saw this young man. He had long hair and no shirt on. He was like one of those hippies from back in the day. Does that look coming back in style? Why does that feel ominous? Why does that feel ominous? There was just a shirtless guy out. Hanging about. What do you mean? Is that going to be somebody we run into? Is that going to be like king of the apathy syndrome? Like, I don't know. That just... Well, then again, I guess... Like, I don't know. That just seems innocuous. Like... The girls saying, oh, there was a drive-by, that feels like flavor text. Oh, there was a lady who was, like, kidnapped right in daylight. Like, that feels like flavor text. It, like, feels big enough that it's a thing. But just a salary man saying, I was skipping work and saw a hippie with no shirt on. That feels like it's less of a, oh no, flavor text for the world and more very specific character that you are going to meet. 
That is what that feels like. I feel like I know who they're talking about. Yeah, you're gonna see him. Oh, ha <laughs> that guy, yeah. Oh, boy! From YouTube chat, hi! Hello, hello! Apparently, we got foreshadowing for a hippie guy from a random salary man. I'm gonna call him King Jesus of the Hippie Guys, I guess. Of the Apathy Syndrome. <laughs> oh no, is the response to that. Apparently, this hippie Apathy Syndrome Jesus King is apparently a big deal. <laughs> Revolver Jesus? So my random just saying Hippie King Jesus is correct? What? Oh boy! <laughs> well, we'll have to see. <laughs> Rio. Coin of Jesus makes sense. Huh. I was just making a joke. I don't even know who this is. Like, again, the only reason I commented on it was because none of the other, like, oh, there was a girl, like, the only other one that was kind of similar was early, early on, where the character, like, some background characters just flavor text was saying there was a girl who dropped out of school and basically just sits and stares at a wall, I think is the only other close thing to this is like that feels like a plot important maybe you're gonna meet this character thing as, as opposed to or make or maybe just a foreshadowing of the apathy syndrome but like compared to oh there was a drive-by shooting oh there was a kidnapping in broad daylight specifically mentioning oh I was skipping my job yesterday and I saw a shirtless hippie feels weird Funnily, nobody's talking in Twitch chat. Everything here was in YouTube chat. Well, let's talk to Rio. <laughs> hey, what's up? We have practice today. Are you going after this? The power of Chimera compels you. Let's go to practice. Oh, let us see. You and Rio practice playing volleyball in the empty gym again. Let's take a break. Make sure you keep yourself hydrated, too. Exactly. Hey there! Your classmate Kenji approaches the two of you. You again? What do you want now? Um... Huh? Are you the only guys here? If there's anybody else here, they must be ghosts. Would it kill you to stop being so sarcastic all the time? It really isn't cute at all. So, who are you looking for? Miss Kano. Or Kano? Kano. I don't know. I have a bad time pronouncing things. She's this club's advisor, right? Yeah, but she's never here. She doesn't care. She doesn't even know the rules of the game. Well, a sophisticated woman like her wouldn't care much for a children's games in any case. Oh, uh, yeah, because somebody else earlier said that in the mail route, you're the magician. Social link and that you're the entire thing revolves around you liking older women, so I guess it makes sense for you to be chasing cougars. Children's games? They play volleyball at the Olympics, I think. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Ah! I don't waste that pretty face of yours by getting all red like that. You shouldn't say stuff if you don't mean it. But man, where could Mrs. Canoe be? She wasn't in the faculty office either. No idea. Do you know, do you know Neon? Hmm. Maybe she went home already? Really? You think so too? Aw oh, man, I'm so bummed I could just fall over and die right here. Why are you looking for her? I got the tickets that Miss Canoe wanted. Is she extorting you? Why would you get an older woman tickets, my dear dude? Well, then again, what do I expect? 
he's trying to, he likes going after the old woman. So it kind of makes sense for him to be, like, extorted to a degree. But still, why would you... Well, I guess, yeah, she is. He did say... They both said that she is, like, the overseer for this. But still, it's just like, why would you come here? neat come to think of it that they like have like uh what's the word they have characters that are like other blah 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 other social links showing up in other social links which is kind of interesting kind of neat I just got my brain was bleh. Remember to stay hydrated, everybody. Your brain might not go bleh like mine. Where I just get sidetracked and ramble. Well, let's get on with it. Kenji shrugs. <laughs> yeah, isn't she just using you? I don't think that she'd actually be uh, helping you. No, no way! Miss Kano is not that kind of person. Who knows, this is Japan. She's so beautiful and mature and sweet that I can't help but... Oh... Kenji blushes. Why do you like her? Huh? You're such a kid, Ryo-san. Listen up, okay? It's got nothing to do with logic or reason. Love is something that just happens whether you want it or not. It just happens? I don't believe that. I think... Love is more often than not, oh, you actually meet somebody, you hang out and interact a lot, and then you're like, hey, let's go up a level, kind of thing. But seriously, don't tell everybody about this, oh, got it? I don't even want you and Nyonsen talking about me, okay? He ran away. Love just happens to you? I guess I will say that it looks this way. He doesn't make any sense at all. It'll never just happen to me. Ryo looks off in the direction that Kenji went. I feel like you understand Ryo a little better now. That feels like a little bit of an odd social link, like, upgrade, but okay. I gotta know. It felt like it was more focused on Kenji than anything. Then again, I guess it was just like Kenji, like, uh, saying things to Ryo. <laughs> Your Kenji sounds a little bit like a bridge Krillin. That's funny, I wasn't even trying for that. If I was trying for a bridge Krillin, I'd be like, So, uh, do you, uh, come around here th this often? Quack! It's been a long time since I've watched, like, actual. A bridge. Krillin is funny. Yeah, but that wasn't even a really good one. Blech. I'd have to really practice doing Krillin. Let's get back to practice. Come on, we can't let someone like him get to us. I'll round up the balls. You and Rio finish your practice, then you went back to the dorm. Back to the dorm! Where have you been? Volleyball. Where have you been? Hell? Always save, and always make emergency save state in case things go mad. Hello, Ikutsu... Ikuts... Like, I said your name good last time, but I forgot the pronunciation. Ikutsuki. Ikusuki. Ikusuki. I don't know. Bleg. I am a little disappointed about Fukakun as well. It is quite difficult to find someone who has the potential. Would you feel more assured if you had more team members? Hmm. Like, it, this is probably not an actual choice. But... Like, I guess having more people wouldn't be bad. Like, if we had more team members, we would be able to... 
like, go to Tartarus more often, because then not everybody would get tired and stuff. Thankfully, Akihiko Kun has rejoined the team. Yes, how can I help you? Let's talk. When I look up at Tartarus, I'm always amazing. Yep. How many floors there are? His assistant, the team, pulled through. In seasonal news, the tourism industry in Okinawa is gearing up for another year. Though the weather is colder this year, many tourists are still enjoying the early island summer. That's too bad. Her name is Fukuyama Geishi, right? I think it's just easier to be around. Yeah, we already read you. Dude, my persona is getting stronger. It's really good at physical attacks, but its skills don't really change that much. Is that why my grades are so low? Hey, I don't know you had skills too. <laughs> I was just joking. Uh, now I'm depressed. Poor guy. Iku Ikutsuki. That's apparently how it's pronounced. But there was another U in there. Ikusuki. Ikutsuki. Ikutsuki is what it sounds. Because the S is before the U key. So I don't know. But hey, we can now say this. But if any of you become ill, the strength of the team will drastically decrease. Depending on so few members depend puts us in a very precarious position. Oh, you're at the bar now, Akihiko. Other than the electricity... Well, oh. other than the electricity skills, it seems like my persona can only learn status-lowering skills. Status-lowering skills are very useful. Power isn't the only thing that wins battles. <laughs> I can't believe my persona is actually teaching me something. Your persona is very smart. Smarter than you, even. Well, it doesn't seem like there's anybody else here. Let's see if that person is finally in the club. Damn it! You're meant to exist. I got rumors on you! I got rumors! And was denied! Well, let me see. What everyone's status is. I'm good. You're good. You're good. Everybody is good. You know what? What if we went to Tartarus? I understand, honestly, but what I post is the official translation. Which is odd, because this is an official translation. <laughs> tomorrow, Neon. Are you saying go to Tartarus tomorrow? Or that, like, the guy that I was... Like, oh, I got information on the monk. You're supposed to be here. Is he going to be here tomorrow? <laughs> Persona 2 in a nutshell. I have rumors. Monday, Thursday, Friday. Which is funny, because I went there on Monday night. And he wasn't there. But we'll have to see. But I guess let's gather everybody up. Let's go to Tartarus. Because last time we got to the flaming table, mini boss, floor boss. Let's see how deep we can go. Doo -doo. As always, our combat save state for things go bad. All right, let me see. Archangel, I think, is one we picked up. Fornius was also one that we could pick up. Omakone, Omakane was also one. I mean, uh, Ikutsuki's pronunciation that I posted is the official pronunciation going forward. Eh, yeah, that makes sense. Because, let's see. Basically, all of these ones are ones that we could pick up. Well, apparently we're going to get Chimera back anyway. Let's get Pyrojack, maybe. Like, I don't want to get rid of Jack Frost, because him leveling up can maybe, like, do good things for me, because he has, like, a special dbd Let's see. 
Chimera. Well, we're up. Oh. Hmm. Let's see. What do you become? We can get Unicorn. Or Valkyrie. Strength. Have you leveled Orpheus? Not really. I probably should. It's just that, like, not many... Like, I, I got, like, locked on to using Chimera. Because as you can see, Orpheus is my lowest level guy. Hmm. Well, actually, let me see. Before we do fusion... Let me check the compendium. Orpheus, I could pull relatively easily, so... Actually, come to think of it, let me see. Do you have any new quests? No. Yep, I already registered my personas yesterday. So all of them down there should be up to date. But we can also do it just as a paranoia paranoia. Oh no, we can't because we're all up to date. That's kind of a nice feature. What if I want a triangle fuse? We can get a pyrojack normally. We can get just a dude at level 14. Tam Lin. Inugami. You look kind of interesting and weird. What's evil touch? Increases odds of poisoning a phone. Of a phone. Oh, never mind. Instills fear. Like, that might not be bad. You'll need Orpheus later, but there will be better ch uh, chances to level Orpheus later. Hmm. I'll still probably keep Orpheus in my party just cause. Gets Zeo, Bash, and then let's see. Neutralizes poison. Zukatan is uh, Zao Zo. I have no idea how to pronounce that guy. Is actually pretty awesome in terms of physical. Yeah, his strength is up there. And I do do a lot of things. And he's going to get a big boost from the chariot. And since the only one that I'm going to... Let's see... And that also gives us access to Bash. Something that we haven't do had before. Zhu Cho Ten. Is how I think it's pronounced. According to YouTube chat. I don't think this is really what we're gonna get. And that will cost us Chimera, who can, we can easily get through other fusions, I think. So, as well as Fornius, but we're also going to get Fornius anyway. So, yeah, let's get Zoo. Let's get, let's get this guy. The corresponding social link is at level 5. This persona will receive a fair amount of power from it. Is this persona acceptable? Give me that dude. I just hope that he doesn't screw up the fusion and we get like a blob. I am Zhao Chutin. Zhu Chatin. From this day forth, I shall be with you. The volleyball social leg <laughs> gives this Oni looking motherfucker power.
Level 15. He's even stronger. Level 16, he gets Assault Drive. Or Assault Dive. Level 17! So you're gonna be my go-to guy for everything else. If, I guess. That'll be my singular triangle. Well, he is Chariot, so I guess I don't need a Chimera. So I guess we'll fuse Omaikane, or, uh... Because I think we can get Yomotsu Shikomi as a drop. Same thing with Fornius. So yeah, let's get you. Let's see. Increases hit evasion, decreases attack, or increases attack. Don't really care for provoke. Ooh, Bufu, I guess. I wonder how that's gonna interact. Nullifies ice. Oh wait, Poisma? Poison's foe! Neat! And we also have the instant light kill. Very small chance to instant murder. Eh. You know what? Let's give you. But, oh well. No super bonuses, but hey, level 11. I summon a level 11 unicorn! Hmm? This persona seems to be holding something within itself. I am Unicorn. I will shield you and heal your wounds. I am Unicron. Soon the Earth will be part of me. And we're keeping Jack Frost because uh, he has the heart thing. Which now we have Unicorn, which also has the heart thing. And I guess I'll go ahead and yoink out Orpheus. Summon my Orpheus boy. I'm gonna get money in there anyway. If you will fully level this persona, it'll give you an item. Man, fully level? How long is that gonna take? Am I gonna just have Jack Frost with me for eternity? Jack Frost will never let me be. He'll haunt me till the day I die. Now let's see, check progress. And I do believe we can just teleport up to level 25. Let's -a go! Orpheus is fully leveled as far as he goes. Really? Uh, I guess that makes sense. He doesn't have any, well, yes, she, she doesn't have any additional things on her. So let's see. I just need to level him up a bit. Because the two things say things, so. I guess we'll have him on and swap if we run into diddly -dees. If you level up Jack Frost and Unicorn to learn all possible skills, then you get an item. That's kind of what I thought that uh, the other chatter meant by fully leveled up. As in, as far as, like, actually doing things. Oh. For a moment there, I thought, like, ah, oh, we're in an actual floor. No. Technically not. I still really like these stairs. Because I am a scaredy scaredy. Well, I'll try to scan the floors above you. Hold on. Sorry, I can't get a clear reading. I may have reached the limit of my ability. Sorry, but can you continue to the next floor? And this is only the second area. Uh, combat safe state go. To me, learning all their skills is fully leveling them. That's um, like a fair way to look at it. A typically, as far as using them after that isn't usually worth it. Hmm. 
Yeah, I guess because you don't learn any new skills. And at that point, it's probably just better to fuse them into a new persona than anything. Die! Be careful. I forget how... Roger. Damn it. Attempt to analyze the enemy. I forget what these guys are weak to. Would you ironically be weak to boof? Well, not ironically, but... Funnily, aha. Hee-ho. Fuck. Well, I guess that just means that they're not gonna... Bash me. I think that means they're weak to fire. Which, hey, works. The boy's gonna be coming up. This is not my day. They're not gonna be many... Lasting yet. I summon fire with my ghost gun. Well, darn you. Not ma boo -foo. But now at least we always have it on hand. Let me quickly check, yes. We can nullify, basically. But we mustn't be careless. Meanwhile, I'm basically being careless. I guess I'll smack you. Akihiko is dizzy. Assist him, someone. He's always very dizzy. <laughs> Junpei Iori, Ace Junior Ghostbuster. Might as well be. We didn't even get a stufel time, but we did get an onyx that we can't even sell for money. We can't even sell our rare goods. I caramba. You're in the corner. Die. Die in the corner. There are four enemies. Strike first. Well, since the boy is going to be up front. Hey, crit time. All right, let's do this. No. Let's burn them alive. Hermes, kill. Hermes, murder. Hermes, eat their soul. Yes, beat up this one little man. Time. Hey, we can get Chimera back. And otherwise, it's just small boost to experience and healing. So let's go for Chimera. Bah. Free fusion fodder. Die. Let's see. Who do I have that has burning power? Well, I guess. I guess it doesn't super hurt. Just beat him up a bit. Junpei, use all of your spirit power. Good job. Two more left. That Junpei. Defeated an F1. Murder him. Punch the hand. Shoot the hand that feeds you. No stupid time. 
every single time. There is no stufel time. It is sad time because I am not getting the power of souls. I am not becoming richer in power or money. What time is it? Stufel time. Die. Be careful. There are four enemies. Not four enemies. And y'all in chat? Is there any topics anyone wants to chat about? Hmm. Not quite sure. I guess I could ramble about like other games that I eventually want to stream. I forget its exact title, but there is, like, a one, like, long-running JRPG series, like, Trail Through the Sky, I think, that I really want to get to eventually. And then there's, like, other ones. I need to play through the Tales games, like Tales of Symphonia, Tales of Arise, Tales of Zestaria, Tales of, uh, what was it, Berseria? Like, there's a lot of Tales games that I want to get to. And then, like, other ones, other ones, there. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Don't get Roger. I forget. Was it Zeo that knocked you guys out of the sky? Can I interest you in a Bufu? You attack the enemy's weak point. Oh! Bufu works too! Hmm. Yeast. Uh, I, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. The YS. I think it's either East or Yeast. So, like, uh, I have heard things about it. I think I own some of them. Like, uh, I think like a compilation title of two of the games early, early on. I do. They're on my radar. Hey, we can get Fornius back or go for a weapon. It would only be a level 2 weapon, but that does mean potentially more money. Hmm. And it's entirely likely that we're going to run into other shuffles that give us bad things. I'm going to go for the weapon. Give me that weapon. It came to me in my hand. Imitation Naganata. Apparently that's what you say if you want to level up, and you have to say it just like that. Imitation Naganata! Oh, I'm level 17 now. Sonic X Shadow Generations. What do you think of those animations? I saw a preview. I did see a few of them, like, uh, which the word? I did see like a few like a uh, Twitter anim or not Twitter animations but like Twitter like oh hey this is happening I saw them and they're like ooh that's interesting very very interesting like I don't want to like talk about the contents cuz like other people might not have uh, seen them yet. So I want to let other people like... Because uh, I think they only came out today. So I don't want to spoil them, but they did look super cool. And apparently are covering a neat segment of Sonic lore. So that's cool. The gems will be useful, don't worry. <laughs> It's just me mocking the game because it's just like I was I'm unable to sell them when they would get me lots of money. Okay, what about a versus battle? Super Saiyans from Dragon Ball versus Kryptonians from DC. Probably depends on the Kryptonians and like which version of Kryptonians, but typically I would say that the Kryptonians like if we take it on a whole, I would say that Kryptonians are, on a whole, more powerful than Saiyans. Like, if you take Zod or his cronies and throw them at your typical Saiyans, 
probably gonna win. Oh, you're glowing. This is gonna get bad. Not you, fuckers. It seems to have multiple weaknesses. Like, uh, I am not good. You guys are scary. I'm gonna put Omakane on. Two enemies remain. Don't get careless. <laughs> It's kind of a curb stomp from the Kryptonians. Especially, like, if you go with mainline comic Kryptonians, because they can effortlessly travel through time now. Oh yeah, Unicorn has Zeo. No, it's not your turn. We're knocking these guys down. I'll change to Unicorn after this. In fact, we're not. I'm gonna stun him. C.A.S. Superman. I don't know what C.A.S. stands for. Not the Lariat. The enemy's already recovered. Well, that's mean. How'd you recover so quickly, asshole? Cosmic Armor Superman. Cosmic Armor Superman beats most things in fiction. Honestly. Because isn't Cosmic Armor Superman like aware of the medium he's in? And yet yeah, can rewrite things? So it's kind of like, since I got up so quickly I'm just going to beat him down. Like I know next to nothing about Cosmic Armor Superman. Damn. Die. Hey, have you heard about the new TV series My Adventures of Superman? I, uh, do do do. I did hear, like, a decent amount of good things about it, like the neat character designs and, like, small little things there. Oh, I thought you had things. Are you weak against? I guess we can try Hama, even though that's probably not going to work. Go! Instant kill. <laughs> be hilarious if it actually hit. It hit! Oh, oh that would have been hilarious. It did the animation. Beat him down. Oh, I forgot. They have counter. I've been waiting for this. If an enemy is weak to them, increases the chance to kill. That makes it. Still kind of sad that it didn't land. Stufel time! Well, we're obviously not going to go for the weapons, so I don't want to summon death. So let's go and get our hermit representative back. I think you. <laughs> you cannot trick my eyes. I am like uh, from Naruto. I have the Sharingan. The TV show My Adventure of Superman is heavily influenced by anime. I think a lot of shows now are influenced by anime. Like, once you got past a certain point... The people that really, like, watched and enjoyed anime as kids got into the industry and started to make the influences more obvious. Which is extra kind of funny considering that a lot of, like, Japanese studios did animation for cartoons in the 80s and 90s. So it's just kind of funny that, like, Japanese like anime and then animation from Japan but just commission from the West came back so there was just like a ton of Japanese animation rolling around Jojo is very nice I haven't watched all of it I need to sit down and actually dedicate time to watching it everything I've heard and everything I've seen is just super cool Dio is an amazing amazing villain Something's different about the enemies around you. Their numbers are increasing, too. You better find an efficient way of defeating them. Well, we obviously can't, like, walk around and leave each other. Three enemies present. I Don't forget be... what... The enemy is weak against... Weak to electricity. Oh, my can it. Three enemies remain. 
love the series. Out of the ones, like, even though I haven't watched all, all of it, oh, fuck you, you bastard, you fuck, you motherfucker. I wonder what dictates the dodging. Like, I swear, dodging happens so often when I'm not even tired. But when it comes to, like, uh, I know, I decently know the first two, like, JoJo series. Phantom Blood and Battle Tendency. I love Battle Tendency. I know a lot of people go, oh, uh, Stardust Crusaders is where it gets good. I really like Battle Tendency. I'll go for the middle for the fusion fodder. Yeah. Speed stats, funnily. I guess that makes sense. If you're faster than your opponent, then you can either dodge or hit better. But still. So I guess agility. Polydeuces. With your fabulous hair. Do a little dance. Kill your god. Do a little dance. Kill that man. Oh, you guys, I know what... The enemy's weakness. Weak to Bufu? Jack Frost, it's your time to fuck. Three enemies remain. You want to know who else remains? My mom! I used to be able to do a decent muscle man, but I, then I lost it. Can you hear me out? I'll go into more detail about Saiyans versus Kryptonians. I'll explain many factors of how the fight will happen. I think it's pretty simple. Like, if it well, if it's just like Saiyans versus Kryptonians, like it's already a wash. Like, even if you go into Super Saiyan, it gets even worse. Well, like not worse, but like, I guess I'll go for the money since I think we have Furnace. Damn it! I, I, that's the second time that I misclicked. I mistimed it, darn. Yep, just remember, don't have too many personas you'll have to discard. Yep, yep. But, like, it also depends on how you scale, like, Super Saiyans and stuff. Ah, oh, you're glowy glowy. You're gonna be the muscle jacks again. The fucking muscle Hulk Hogan's! Nobody loves you! No one! Hulkamania is dead! A wisely chosen attack. Yeah. It's my no. Turn. It's his turn, so we were on a double tap him. Hopefully get him down. We are like uh chosen attack. Here's our chance for an all out attack. But it all so. depends on like exactly what angle you're looking at for the verses. Two enemies remain. Cuz like uh Let's go. Blah, blah, blah. Still alive. I'm trying to think of the words. Please hit. Because if you look at, like, their powers, Kryptonians have a lot of powers to batter down... Oh, I forgot they do that, man. I guess piercing gets through their abs. My bad. I keep forgetting they have that shield. You know what? Let's go for an all-out attack. I think that'll actually be a good choice at this point. It'll all help. So yeah, it just comes down to like what exactly you're looking in, uh, looking for in the versus match. But like. One enemy remains. <laughs> like, if I do want to say it, I do find power scaling to be very dumb in some ways when it comes to certain characters. Stufel time. We already have you, so we're going to go for either one of those. Whoosh. 
more experience, which is great for that because they were big boys. But yeah, like, I do have some gripes of power scaling. Like, you're telling me that Super Saiyan Blue Goku is many times universal, and yet, when he's punching Goku Black through buildings, he's just punching him through buildings and not wiping out the planet with the mere force of his punches. I think it's a very silly metric sometimes. A very, very silly thing. You have Aggie, so I guess we'll use you. Four enemies remain. Stay cautious. Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan is such a dumb name. It's Super Saiyan Blue. Because it's just nice, simple, straight to the point, you know what you're talking about. Attack again! Now's our chance! Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan is silly. This is not good. The Saiyans were dominated by a species that didn't train. To be more accurate, it is more that the Saiyans were dominated by Frieza rather than just like anybody. Well, that's very mean. Stop it. Okay, yeah, this should be fire. Yeah, because I think it was confirmed that, like, Frieza and his family were genetic freaks. And that's why they didn't need to train a day in their lives. Well, that's on it. Oh, it's because... I guess multiple of us are down, so we can't all at attack. But he should have, like, a pickup ally. Pick me up so that we can do this. Oh, and then they get up. Darn. She's already panicked, you asshole. You jerk. You utter lunatic. You lunatic fringe. And now it's my turn. Get eggy. All-out attack. Do you remember that saying to yourself, tails can transform into the fake monkeys? Like, honestly, the Uzuru are, like, small potatoes, all things considered. We already have you, so we'll go for... Whoop. Yeah, Uzuru, small potatoes to the DC universe. Then again, it, like, again, Dragon Ball power scaling is just dumb. From Dragon Ball to Dragon Ball Z, the highest level of power was blowing up the moon. And the first time was a gag. And then, from Dragon Ball Z to Dragon Ball Super, the only, like, confirmed power level is blowing up planets. Two enemies detected. Strike first. <coughs> And plus, we don't exactly know, like, uh, how many Saiyans, like, got sent to various places at one time. Because I think from the Bardock movie, it was like a team of five or six, and they did coordinate to go on a full moon to Uzuru, the planet, to death. Uh, kind of thing. Fusion fodder or potential weapon. I'll go for the potential weapon. Went to the middle. Oh, Kishido Blade. Actually got a good thing. But it's just that, like... Because, 
I think also the average Kryptonian should be able to kick the average Saiyan's ass. Like, even the average Super Saiyan. Or hell, even the average, like, uh, Super Saiyan God. Purely due to the fact that if I recall, a group of normal Saiyans once all got together and curb stomped Doomsday. And Doomsday is an up there villain in DC. Then again, DC is just a nutso crazy factory of madness. Kaboom. Ah, sure for time. Just get an experience up. I mean, Luffy was able to hold his own against Goku. If you're talking about that, uh, like, buh, buh, buh. I'm trying to think. It was like a super crossover movie race thing. That's not like a canonical actual use of, like, power scaling knowledge because it is a crossover. After you... Are you analyzing the enemy during battle? I'm certain it'll help you defeat them. You say this before a boss that literally can't be analyzed. You shut your mouth. If not, you'll surely have greater difficulty winning. Also, a little bit, like, annoying because it's not instant, so it's like you have to keep them alive to learn their weaknesses. <laughs> Well, then again, I guess against the ones you need the weaknesses, you'll learn them. But still. Ah, you're a very tiny one. You're gonna die. One enemy detected. But if we were to look at, like, uh... Luffy versus Goku using, like, their worlds... I don't think that Luffy has the power to take on Goku. Okay, everything's going I don't think. I think, like, if Goku, or, like, uh, if Luffy was given the power scaling, it would be a very fun fight, and Luffy would be a very tricky opponent for Goku, but... I don't think that the One Piece world is universal. <laughs> again, like, I do, again, I do take, like, issue with, like, power scaling and how it's presented. Because it's a little silly to go, Goku is multiversal. Also, when he fights seriously, he doesn't even destroy planets. Power scaling is weird. Farnius or money? I think I'll just go money. Because I think we have Farnius. Yeah. I don't see them fighting to the death, to be honest. Like, even in a sparring match. Then again, if this is a sparring match, this just means that Goku... It'll just be a narrative device for Goku to go Super Saiyan Blue and show that Luffy is actually very much worthy to fighting in the multiversal tournament, just like what he did with Roshi, Tien, and <laughs> Krillin. Because all of those characters are totally able to stand up to Super Saiyan Blue Goku all of a sudden. That's another reason why I'm kind of meh on the <laughs> Dragon Ball power scaling. It's just very silly. <laughs> Everything's going according to plan. I mean, if we're getting to the nitty-gritty details about Saiyans, one can say they are pretty much battle junkies. Yeah, but then it it took the upper echelon of freaks from the battle junkies to make like Goku and Vegeta, and then their kids. So it's more like. The, the genetic battle freaks rose to the top of the Saiyan. <laughs> actually, you know what? What it actually was, was uh, 
when Frieza blew up planet Vegeta, he just gave the entire species a Zenkai boost. And that is why... <laughs> that is why... Goku and... I forgot they can do that. Mm, I keep forgetting. But that's why Goku, Vegeta, and all the other Saiyans got super powerful later on. And it's because... <laughs> the entire species got a Zenkai boost. I forget. Are you immune? Nope. But, like, if, again, if we're taking, like, the average Saiyan versus the average Kryptonian, like, it would depend if it was before or after Krypton. Because if it's before Krypton, well, duh, Kryptonians were just normal people. But if it was after Krypton, then the average Kryptonian is kicking a Saiyan's ass. The enemy has recovered. Because that's just how busted Kryptonians get. That was a close one. Do -do -do -do. <laughs> also, Kryptonians have consistent weakness. Yeah, but the problem is, like... Saiyans aren't really battle strategists. Again, their main go-to thing is throw giant monkeys at a planet. I don't think they care for strategy. Because again, like, the average Saiyan, like before, like, they all got annihilated. We're just normal Frieza soldiers. And like, if I recall, even young Vegeta was an upper echelon of Saiyan warrior, so... All in all, when it comes to the like Dragon Ball Universe, the Saiyans are kind of small potatoes beyond Dragon Ball Z power levels. We want to talk intelligence. Goku literally gave his enemy basically a Zinkai boost with a Senzu bean. Yeah, but that was Goku being like just like being Goku, which is kind of the problem. The problem with Goku is he really likes to fight his enemies at their best. And so he's like, oh, other people also want to fight their enemies at their best. His priorities kind of get skewed sometimes. Where if there's, like, a unique experience to fight a strong foe. I guess we'll grab Epsaurus. Yeah. Oh, I cannot retain. My bad. Then we shall drop Epsaurus. I said drop Epsaurus. Game, just open up the menu and let me drop it. Why is it, like, summon the text box and then the decision box? We already fought a lot, we'll ignore you. My bad, we weren't going the wrong way. The entrance was actually right there. Luckily, they're not interested in my allies. Have you been surprising the enemy? Pay attention to the shadow's movements and be carefully close in. 
If you're reckless and approach it and let the shadows get the first strike, it could quickly become disastrous. That is what I definitely try to keep myself go good. It's a little guy. Never mind, you're not a little guy. What the fuck? It seems to have multiple weaknesses. Weak to electricity and wind. Oh, I didn't want to click run, but oh well. Damn it. I was trying to go to abilities, and then my brain just went yik and said, no, run. Three enemies detected. They appear distressed. Don't have much mana, so we'll try to get a crit off. These are the heal ones. Try and take you out. Oh, block. Three enemies I should probably look at this. I wonder why somebody weak to ice would ignore wind. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> For some reason, I thought we went to my turn. Like, I thought we went to me. I thought I was Yukari there for a moment. Okay, everything's going according to plan. Kill the shadow. The main thing about like a versus debate, though, is like. Where would a Saiyan find a Kryptonian, like, post, like, Krypton, anyway? So, like, more than likely, they wouldn't be at a red star, as it is. Darn you missing? How is a hand faster than a man? Yeah, you can't concentrate. You're a bird. Two enemies remain. Don't get careless. Probably must be careless. Punch that bird. Damn it. I guess it makes sense. Punching a bird is kind of hard. Everybody, punch that bird on the floor. Tanky bird. Smart bird, apparently. Please hit. That was a close one. One little funny aha that I was thinking of. Primarily from the last uh, Goku versus uh, Superman death battle, part three, is one of the ways that they power scaled. Uh, one enemy I forget. It seems to have multiple oh, hey, that'll work out. But, like, one way that they power scaled Goku was saying that when everybody went to the afterlife. One enemy remains. Uh, what's her name? Videl said that the afterlife was like as big as a universe. And then they said, ah, oh, that must mean that it's as big as our universe. Even though Videl has no, like, concept of our universe. She only has the concept of her own universe. So how would she, why would she say that, ah, this is exactly the size of a universe that I've never even known about before. It seems like a 
weird little decision on their, <laughs> their part. Still alive. So technically, Goku by Battle of the Gods is only two times multiversal. He can destroy the universe and then the afterlife universe. Even though, like, the galactic universe model technically shows the afterlife being smaller and within the greater universe. If, like, Videl says, this is as big as a universe, what universe is she saying it's as big as if she lived in the normal Dragon Ball universe? I don't know, it just feels like a weird... Again, power scaling is dumb sometimes. When it's like, when you take power scaling to the super nitty gritty, it just gets super dumb. I detect a source of great power somewhere above you, but I can't determine the exact floor, sorry. Please proceed with caution. I'll probably seek out the exit since we're running low on, or I could just beeline to the diddly D. But that feels wrong. I don't want to not fight my way through. So I'll try to find the teleporter. Hmm. Ah, playing goalie. Don't push yourself too hard, Takeba. Damn it, I got hit. Very rude. How dare you focus him, you bastard? Can you use it... Zio skill? Three enemies remain. Ha! I couldn't defeat it. Iori, pull yourself together. Let me, let me look again. Weak to electricity. Zappy Blast. And then we'll knock them all down and go for an all-out attack. I was half expecting to miss that one. If you're able to get to the boss floor, you can heal and come back. Maybe. It just I feel like it's a little bad to like try ignoring a bunch of enemies to get to the floor. Because there is the next one, but blah blah. I'll try to, like, explore a little bit and then run to the stairs, then. Because the worst comes to worst, I can always grind on lower ones and then teleport back to the boss floor. Lots of money. Bleh. Lots of money, I say. But one power scaling thing from Dragon Ball that always annoyed me was people saying that Cell is Solar System. Not based off of any, like, calculation, but purely because Cell claimed that he could. To which I would always respond, yeah, and Vegeta was totally a Super Saiyan on Namek. He said he was. It's a difficult road ahead. Are you doing all right? If you're close to exhaustion, you can always return to a lower floor to train. It's a big one. Because it's just that, like, Cell is a cocky bastard. Of course he's going to overestimate himself and, like, I can totally blow up an entire solar system. Totally. I'm not a cocky dude on a power high like Vegeta. It's not like I already have Vegeta's DNA in me or anything, Baka. Ah, shit. That was close. I'll fight you for that, that chest. Three enemies present. Don't get careless. 
but we mustn't be careless. Boom. But another reason why I kind of think that, like, Cell saying that he can blow up the solar system is, like, just silly is because he's never done it before. We'll go for money. And, like, especially because the latest, like, level of power that, like, uh, we were really shown was Vegeta's final flash. Which Trunks said, come on, you can just, you'll destroy the world if you do that. Are you doing all right? Don't push yourself too hard. So it's just, like, for the strongest attack of uh, Vegeta to be planetary at the very least and then to have the power level jump to your glowy I don't like that you're gonna be the muscle man ah oh, darn it it's a dead end anyway three enemies present don't get careless we had to just jump to solar system level how dare you table is a little bit silly if you ask me. A little silly to go from long power up time, strongest attack, blows up planet, to I could totally destroy a solar system even though I just got this body. <laughs> Three enemies remain. It seems a little silly. And it's just funny for people to say, like, well, Cell said that he can. That means that he can. When he's the villain. Of course he'd say that he can. He's a cocky bastard. This is not good. For a moment there, one of the tables disappeared, so I was just like, what the hell? It's more so bragging. It can't be bragging because he doesn't know that he can do it. Nobody has shown that level of power beyond planetary. And this guy just comes out swinging. Oh, yeah, I can totally blow up the solar system. Guess we'll go for the double experience. It feels more like, again, Vegeta saying that he was a Super Saiyan on Namek compared to this is something that I can totally do. Especially because we don't even see solar system level of power like anywhere <laughs> in all of Dragon Ball. It goes from planetary to like solar, like beyond solar system more than anything. Just feels weird. My favorite joke is that Dragon Ball's power scaling always, like, goes in loops. Like, Dragon Ball to Dragon Ball Z, the best power scaling was blowing up a moon. And then Dragon Ball Z to uh, Dragon Ball Super, the best level of power was Frieza learning to blow up a planet a little bit faster. <laughs> Just amuses me. Not to mention, when he blew up King Kai's planet, Cell also got a Zinkai boost. I wouldn't say that he got, like, a solar system level Zinkai boost. Else, Vegeta actually would have become a Super Saiyan back on Namek when he got shot through the chest intentionally by Krillin. I estimate that is three floors above you. Be cautious. Three floors? Jesus. I'm gonna find the... 
escape doohickey because we are low on resources. But I do want that treasure chest. Damn it. I got you before you got me, bastard. Three enemies uh, apparently he got me before I got him. Roger. I'll attempt to analyze the enemy. I couldn't finish it off. Oh, I thought you were the one that I already, already got hit. I'm a fool. Strong. Ah, just weak against ice. Three enemies remain. Get out of here. Let me double check. Oh, you're neutral to electricity, so I might as well zap you. I probably shouldn't have chosen that one. That was the one with the evasion boost. You used wind on the wind person. Get out of here. Last one. Be aware that Akihiko is severely injured. This thing won't give up. One enemy remains. Come on, Akihiko. You can do it. You can hit the evasion boosted bird. Akihiko, you fool. You're going to die. Luckily, it went for the wind. Stupid bird. Man, evasion up is all the rage, huh? Apparently, punching birds is how you beat evasion. Something inside you has changed. You leveled up your nervous system. And we get the chest. For 350 yarn. Oh, we just need to find the... Ah, oh, this is a dead end. Damn it. Oh, yeah, because one of my allies has disappeared. Be aware that Akihiko is severely injured. Well, luckily, Junpei didn't get jumped into... Oh, you're literally goalieing me, aren't you? You jerk. I guess I can try and hit you and then run. Be careful. There are four enemies. And we're just too low on spirit power to risk fighting that many enemies. It's just that I don't know what dictates like running away from fights. So I don't want to Oh, I forgot. The disappear thing was right here. I was too focused on the chest that I completely missed it. Let's return to the entrance. And then we can look again next time, because now we're tired. We can probably get to the boss rink. Another time. Return out to the Dorma. What's up, dude? So, what do you think? What's the matter? About Fukuyama Gishi, of course. I haven't given up hope that she'll join our team. Dude, her face looks so familiar. She does look kind of weak, but it only makes me want to protect her, you know? She's not like... A good, like a get stronger protection charm. Oh, what a coincidence. So yeah, coming to a committee today. Come if you have the time, okay. It's my job. Don't think anybody else asks for me to go anywhere today. <laughs> the nurse has a class. I didn't know that. Blah. Remember to stay hydrated, everybody. Hydration. 
is good. I'm sure that the nurse would agree. I'm at Ogawa, in charge of into in integrative learning. <laughs> in this class, I'll ease your worries. It's psychotherapy through magic. All right, everyone be very, very quiet. No talking. Silence! Were you surprised to hear me bring up magic? It's a recent proposal, so it's not well known yet. Here it is. Those who believe will be saved. Oh, great. He's a psychopath. Study hard, and I can beat your weak minds into shape. <laughs> now then, let's get on with our first lecture on the basics of magic. That'd be hilarious. Who can use magic and who cannot? That'll be our starting point. Some of you might think that magic lets you do absolutely anything. Pulling pranks on people, hurting your enemies. If that's what you think, then you'll never learn magic. It's true of both Eastern and Western sorcery. Those with wicked hearts will either be powerless or be driven to ruin. There's one more thing that can't be forgotten when learning magic. That is a master. You should aspire to become as good as your predecessors, especially if you're studying difficult magic. If you don't have a master, learning the black arts will be impossible. When you begin your training, you'll have to live in two worlds at once, the real world and the dark realm. If you can't distinguish between the two, you're headed to for certain disaster. That's why the presence of a master is of the utmost importance. With that in mind, I'll move on to the meditation, a standard practice in magical training. I've got handouts for you. I don't think this guy's a real teacher. You feel tired. Stay awake. Keep that power going. Now then, it looks like it's time. If you're interested in the subject, try meditating before going to bed. Slowly recall the events of the day. It's like traveling back through time. If you can do that flawlessly, you can may just make a good magician. <laughs> That's all for today. You stayed up and listened to the insanity. Oh, now I'm above average. I'm a god among men. I'm a god among gods. And I think that might be it for now. We've been going for almost three-ish hours. And I'm just quite tired. We'll just uh, catch up on chat a bit. Goku and Superman have similar backstories. Yeah, they fled a dying planet. Got found by people out in the countryside. <laughs> Although, as another chatter said, it would have been amusing. Like, Superman in Dragon Ball. Superman gets brain damage. But that wouldn't really matter much because Superman didn't come pre-programmed with memories. Goku did kind of come down with the pre-programmed destroy everything. Like, incentive, which is still kind of weird. How do you train a child to do that? We're gonna send an abandoned child to a planet. They'll grow into an ape and destroy everything around them. Surely they'll survive. Then again, it's the Saiyans. They're probably all along the mindset of if the child dies, it Darwinism. Probably. Let's see. Fuko, goodness, I'll let you see what happens regards to her. Ominous! And he teaches magic. Well, he does teach courage by getting people to drink his concoction. But the extra funny thing with the Goku and Superman having similar backstories thing is that that did then lead to the dub early on being like, we're going to make Goku a Superman figure. Which is funny, because that's not Goku at all. Again, see get Goku giving his enemies Senzu beans so that he can get big fight time. But Persona 3 is fun. I need to go with the flow and not worry about the like hanging out with people stuff as much just like pick ones that I like and just go for it basically not worry about things next time we'll probably wander around see if anything pops up and then we'll probably save our like medicine buying for a Saturday for the sale Hopefully I'll remember to check... Well, then again, I always try to check the stuff at night, and we can only go to the mall, so... We'll try to check the club at night to see if the rambling monk shows up. But god, there's so many social links, and I need to choose which ones that I want to hang out with. So it's mostly... Like, it seems to be mostly 
wh what character is like stories do you want to experience rather than like if you go through you get something super duper good then again if you go all the way through maybe I'll get good good bonuses but I think right now in Persona Freeland because this was the first one I think to have the time management system so I think it might just be like persona bonuses so that oh you make this bo this persona well congratulations you can technically break the level cap of your summoning personas because you have a high level social link is probably what it is elsewise it's probably just pick a character and experience their story unless there's like a hidden thing like who knows Maybe this game is mean and has like that one social link that's hard to get where you can hang out with a character and if you don't get max it out, they die. Like what if that happens to Mitsuru? Because she requires a genius level intellect to hang out with. If you don't like get your genius level intellect early on and hang out with her as much as possible, maybe she dies. Who knows? I don't know anything. But you d the thing is, you can't hold it, like, say that a game wouldn't do that. This is Persona. They could do anything. Like, some characters I doubt that would happen, like Junpei. I doubt that if I don't max out... Well, of course Junpei wouldn't die. He wasn't an original, uh, like, social link. But, like, uh, Yukari. I doubt that she would die. If I didn't max out her social link. Maybe. Then again, her social link starts after a certain event, according to chat. So maybe. Maybe. And then it also depends with, like, the side characters. Like, I doubt, like, if you ha don't hang out with them, if they just, like, because like, that's the thing. All of these are just, like, side characters for the most part. So, like, aside from the main, like, teammates, like, I wouldn't see anything, like, happening to characters if you don't hang out with them. Like, maybe there would be, like, oh, I heard, like, Rio jumped off a bridge or something. Like, it wouldn't hit as hard if it wasn't part of the main story. <laughs> I mean, the Persona series is ranked MA 15 plus. Yeah, but like, that's more just for like, ah, the dark themes and the violence and the blood and the cursing more than like, oh, if you don't hang out with a character, they die. <laughs> it's just, that's the thing. I don't doubt that characters may die. I just don't know if this game has the, like, conniving, scheming evil to be like, if you don't max out this person's social link, they're gonna die and just not tell you. But like, in some ways it would have to be a side character because if you... Because then you'd have to make basically two versions of the story. One version of the story where they die and one where they don't, so who knows. But yeah, I really like Persona 3. The gameplay is quite fun, even if my anxiety is like, oh, I have to fight all the shadows so I don't underlevel myself. But I also want to, like, make good progress and not waste my time in Tartarus by not getting a substantial way through. It's like, the anxiety eats at my soul. But I do believe that that shall be it for now. Like I said, we've been going for almost three hours. I'm still feeling a bit bleh. But I really enjoy the game, the music, the characters are interesting. And I do kind of like... Oh, ah, my voice. Mm. But I do kind of like how we have this supernatural story going on. With the Dark Hour and Apathy Syndrome and Tartarus. But at the same time, all of the social links are just normal stuff. It's just, like, hanging out with friends and, like, everyday stuff, even if some of them appear to be going in weird directions, like Sayori 
being a doormat that doesn't want to have any aspirations for herself. That's kind of weird. But at the same time, oddly human. But yeah, but yeah. Very, very fun. Next time, we will basically go with the flow. I doubt we'll get to the next full moon. Or, I don't know, is that a full moon? I don't know. I think the next full moon's still a ways away. We'll have to wait and see. Blah. But we'll just try to do more things. There is no real planning, just... We'll go with the flow, see if any characters really intrigue me and I want to hang out with them. Like, I don't really care to hang out with the student council guy, but Ryo is cool. I'm worried about Sayori. I'm, I really need to hang out with Junpei one of these days. But, yes. Next stream should be on Monday at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. Hopefully I get back into a decent groove and don't cancel any more streams. But, yeah, sometimes brain goes bleh. But yes, if you want more things from me, all of my stuff is linked in my link tree, which can be found directly linked in descriptions, link places, and bios of the various sites, with my edited content YouTube channel, streaming YouTube, streaming Twitch, depending on your preference. All of these streams then get uploaded to that streaming YouTube channel. All the art that I draw, like my little character in the corner, is uploaded to various art sites and social medias. The stories that I write are linked are uploaded to various sites that are then linked in my link tree. And then my Patreon is also linked in there and is basically just a big ol' glorified donation bucket for the extraordinarily kind. But yes, but yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody. Just remember, be you, be true, be happy. But most importantly, be kind and stay hydrated. And thank you for spending your time with me. Bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.